Jesus. The Bible said King Jehoshaphat. I told you Apostle Hunter, oh God, called a fast. And verse 4 said, and restoration gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord, even out of all the ministries, your personal ministries that you have, and all the departments within this ministry, they came to seek the Lord, yearning for him and all their desires. The Bible said that Judah gathered themselves to ask for help. And I'm telling you, restoration, we have got to come together as a body of Christ and ask God for his help. Verse 5, an apostle stood in the congregation of RFM and RYM in the house of the Lord on 9th Street. Verse 6, and said, O oh Lord God, our fathers, art thou not God in heaven? And rulest not over the heath, over the kingdom of the heathens. And in thine hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee? Are thou not our God, who didst drive out the inhabitants of the land before thy people RFM, and gave it to the seed of Abraham their friend forever? And they dwelt therein, and have built thee a sanctuary. Therein, for thy name's sake, saying, If when evil comes upon us, my God, as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, now this is RFM talking to God, we stand before the house, in thy house, for thy name is in this house, God's name is upon restoration, and we cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help, O oh, our God, will I not judge them? For no might against this great company thou comest up against us. Neither know we what to do. But our eyes are upon thee. And all RFM and RYM stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. So if you don't know by now, what God is saying is that from this time, King Jehoshaphat proclaimed the fast and the people came came together and recognized that they need God's help. God said every time Apostle Hunter calls a fast, all of restoration need to be here. It don't matter if you don't want to. It don't matter that you live too far. It don't matter that your dog is sick and your goldfish drown. It don't matter that your children ain't acting right. Not yet, I said goldfish drown. It don't matter by all of that. What it matters is that the Bible said that all Judah stood before the Lord. All Judah stood before the Lord. All restoration stood before the Lord. Even with their little ones, their wives, and their children. Even the babies were there. And it's not right for us to leave our children somewhere else. And we need to be in the house of God. Because the devil is after our children. And I be dog cold if I allow the devil to steal my child while I sit in the house of God. Because my grandparents raised us, we had to go to church every time they went. We had to go to church whether we wanted to or not. We were sitting right there on that pew until church was over. And then if the church had to go somewhere else, we was right there. We had time enough to stop and get a water burger. Y'all don't know nothing about water burger. We had time enough to stop and get a water burger. Have mercy, Jesus, I can feel it right now. We stopped and had a water burger on the way to the next service. And we sat there and we didn't know what they was doing. We didn't know what they was really talking about. But baby, when I got old enough and I got tired of running my head into a wall, Oh, God, help me, Jesus. I began to realize I didn't have to settle for crumbs. 
into their midst. And he said, Hearken ye all, Judah, restoration, and ye inhabitants of Anderson, and thou king, Apostle Hunter. Thus says the Lord God to you, Do not be afraid, nor dismayed by reason of this great attack. For the battle is not yours, but it's the Lord's. But I need to press play right here because we quote this scripture but don't really have a legal right to quote it because we ain't on one accord. Oh, I said it. Because we ain't on one accord with the word of God. The Bible said a few verses ago that all Judah was on one accord. And when they came on one accord, that's when God said, do not be afraid. I know we love to quote that scripture. Ah, the battle is not yours, but it's the Lord. But if you're out of the will of God, baby, that scripture ain't for you. Ah, thank you, Jesus. I want to straighten that out because we as Christians, we have a we have a way of twisting the word to make it sound good. Hallelujah. And, and here's another one for free that we love to quote. And the Lord shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Yes, he said that, but you got to go back and read that Priscilla and Aquila were followers of Paul, and they were supporting the ministry. So when they didn't have nothing, I know I'm talking the Bible. When they didn't have nothing, the Bible said that he will supply all your needs. But when you suck and enjoy them, you, my God, you're tempting God and you're robbing God. You ain't got no right to use that scripture because you're illegal. Baby, I, I parked a car across the street, but you might need to take it to the back to get me up out of here because I see some books that I ain't never seen before. But I'm trying to help us understand why we can't get the fullness of God, J man. Because God is saying that I'm going to bless you, but it's got to be according to my word. Yeah, yeah, we love to quote it. We love to quote it. But baby, Priscilla and Aquila, they was doing stuff right. They took care of the man to God's knees. His mouth wasn't stuck out in his stomach, wasn't touching the backside of his back because he didn't have no food to eat. They were following him and they were giving their money to him. And it didn't matter to him that his name was Paul. They saw the work and the anointing of God upon Paul's life. And they said, I got to sow it to this man to God. I got to make sure he got what he needs. Who is God talking to him today? You better bring your money, not to the offering, but to the
mountain in this house like a mad person. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. He said, tomorrow, go ye down against them. Oh, stop sitting and talking about the situation. And get up and position yourself. Get up and position yourself to war. He said, get up and go down. Some of y'all ain't got enough courage. You sit and wait for somebody else to do something. But God is saying for you to get up and go down to the front line. Stop acting like you're weak. Stop acting like you ain't got no power. Stop acting like you're waiting for a apostle to do it. Please don't be waiting for me to do it. Get up yourself. Get up that bed. Turn down that plate. Get off that telephone. Turn off of Facebook. Some of y'all need to even get rid of your Facebook page. Get rid of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus. 
God is trying to deposit something in your spirit and let you know we are not forgotten. 